Hello, it's Joe Lyons, and in this video we're going to cover variadic functions. And I'm not going to get really into it, but it is a pretty cool feature. Uh, variadic function basically means the number of parameters that it accepts are variable, right? They change. And so um, in this example here, I have a function I've written um, where I'm going to do math, and sometimes I'm going to pass it two parameters. Um, in the next example, I pass it three and the next one I pass it 4, and of course it can take basically any number of parameters. Um, you do that by adding an asterisk next to your parameter. Um, and I believe, if I remember right, you can basically have just one, um, because otherwise AutoHotKey wouldn't know when the next one is, but um, you can have things before it that aren't variadic, but the very last one needs to be, um, sorry, it doesn't need to be, but if you have a variadic one, it has to be the last one. And in this example here, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to set my total to equal zero, and then um, in, I'm going to go through and say, okay, I'm going to take um, the y value, which is going to be the actual um, value here, and I'm going to add it to total and uh, with combined total and store it. And so now when I run this macro, the first time it's three because one plus two equals three. The next time is it six because one plus two plus three equals six, and the next time it's ten because I've now added on a four. Right, so in this return, I'm returning the value back up to here, um, the total. Now let's say I, um, another nice feature to know about is the uh, max index, um, and also how you can access any given one that you want in an array. So um, I had on the other screen here. Let me paste this in, and I'll go ahead and get rid of those two. It looks like. So what this next one's doing, and I know I could have done some of this on my, my for loop right up here, but um, for this example, what I wanted to show was this max index off of x, right? x is my parameter I'm passing. Um, that'll say, hey, how many are there of this? In this case, there's two, in this case, there's three, and in this case, there's four, right? So I'm telling AutoHotKey, after you do this, loop over this thing the first time twice, the second time three times, third time four times. And then in it, I'm accessing, because this is a index in a loop, right? So the first time, this is going to have a 1, the second time a 2, and so on, right? Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to concatenate um, the, the, the value here with the plus sign. Um, so it's going to say um, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3, 2 plus 3, and 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Um, that's what this is doing here. Now, of course, I'm going to have an extra plus there at the end, so this little bit here is basically I use the string length um, in substring and I'm subtracting the last value which basically means I'm, I'm dropping the last plus. I guess I could have used the trim trim function and put in a plus sign and that would have taken care of that as well but I already had this thing written out because I use it pretty frequently. Um, and then I'm going to say equals total and so now if I save this and reload and run so see one plus, oh that's neat 1 plus 1 equals 3. Oh, oh, ha! Silly me, sorry. A index. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, 1 plus 2 equals 3. I'm glad I didn't change the laws of uh, mathematics. Um, 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. And 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. Um, so that is just a simple example of how variadic functions can be built, some of their functionality. Um, the auto hotkey documentation on it is pretty decent, but, but to me it really helps seeing it in a nice, clear example. So that's why I thought I'd record this. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.